hello guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm testing the surunoya artemis this is the 1500s i choose it because of the shallow spool and i've paired it with the mavlos plume because honestly they make a sick combo if you see in here the braid is a little bit faded because I've been using this reel for some time uh, since it's a bit more expensive I usually put a little bit more thought behind it because you will want a little bit more endurance from uh, 50 60 dollars a reel my first impression is that it's very very smooth and very very cool I'm using it today on a very very dreadful day and in the day where I fished for about 34 minutes so I come at 11 and now it's 11 34 and I'm giving you an intro and a wrap up and I'll just cut in shots of me fishing with it today because I had 15 minutes so I went on my usual place and I came into here to do a little bit of ledging from a bridge but it's just horrible condition so I don't have any, any slow currents yet the fish are not yet going up the creek and they are not feeding properly other than small ones nibbling on the end of my small plastic not much action I tried a couple of crankbaits they are not yet going after them but either way I still had a blast because I haven't been able to fish for I don't know two weeks right now mixture of tropical storms and I had a working trip to England where unfortunately I couldn't fish imagine going on the land of the big chub and not being able to do anything but either way pretty cool reel still smooth I have it for about now I think four or five months since I ordered it so it's keeping its paces as you can see it's it's fading the braid already I have put I don't know maybe 18 hours on this reel I really like the combo that it makes with the uh, Mavlos plume I'll probably keep this combo together uh, so and also the plume is holding up very very well now just a couple of me images of me doing my best to try and catch something but it was not my day so if you want more details of the reel just check the unboxing video if not just take a little bit of minutes of me fishing with this reel on a dreadful bay and catching one tiny ass yeah. as you can see the river is flowing with high intensity we had like tropical storms as you can see that the trees over there have fallen and I'm testing something new which is like that my do-it-yourself jigs but to now with the do-it-yourself do lure this is from the the spiky toys that you have on stores I saw someone doing this and I copy as everyone does and let's see if this can find any fish I, I saw a fish on the creek the creek is with negative current it's the river that is feeding the creek now because even though that today is not raining they have to release a lot of water we are expecting another storm soon so they have to release the already full, full dams so let's try to catch fish the keyword is try they were biting right here so sure buddy there are some fish right by my feet i just need to waste a lot more time on this area that's it. Ah, Jesus. Douchebags. So I finally decided to quit on Sunfish and went somewhere else. Still trying the slow current zones. Like there. Oh. Oh, some nibbling. Yeah something is on something very very small but it's discunked so
Let's check the pipe. Maybe this rod is cursed with small fish. If you remember when I tested it, I think with a linu. Oh, they are all here. I think I tested it with a linu reel and I caught only dinks. But now, not even the dinks wanted anything with me. They just wanted refugee from the main current. So I went on the other spots of slow current, but nothing was there, not even the sunfish to annoy me. Since the creek and the main river didn't provide, I'm going on a bit of a walk, getting out of my comfort zone and going up on the main river, trying to check new spots because now Realistically, I can only fish because they are not going after the crankbaits yet. Uh, I can only fish like small bays where two trees make a little cover from the main current. And is where the fish that I want to target are located. So, and also because I want to dry a little bit. Yep, 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 yep. yep and nothing more nothing and a little bit more of nothing on this spot also so i decided to pack my things and go on the bridge a little bit up the river i've been doing this for 22 minutes i spent about 15 on my usual spot only caught one fish they didn't seem to be interested either on what i'm using right now which is a super continent two centimeter fish Tanta or even crankbaits. See you next morning. So I was so disappointed that I went there the next day. As you can see, the water levels had fallen a lot since the last day. And I just went in on my usual place. Now the water is, has a lot more clarity. The fish were still very, very, very shy, but nonetheless, I will give my best. Yes, at least something. <laughs> Micro, but I will take it. This one was sweated. Very, very hard to get this guy. So after yo-yoing the soft plastic on this bridge for a lot of time, I went on a, another bridge uh, up the river. You can see on the margins on the bank of the river that there's still the mark of the water level. So it felt a lot during the morning and I'm just there trying to catch another one. I'm working my way through the bridge as I jig my very 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 small soft plastic on the ice jig trying to catch something more. And as I get near the bank I start to get a little bit more confidence on what I'm doing. I see a lot of silver things going around my lure and I think by now I already had the fish hooked. I didn't notice because it was so light and so small. I think I broke my PW. In the same exact spot as the one that I catch the other PW. I think I will try to find a video where I use the marvelous plume. Again. Nano fish. This one is not a show.
still I'm grateful because it's very 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 bad conditions for fishing and after this I even went to a last resort place on the big waterfalls so with a lot of current and a lot of open space and where I know there is grass that sometimes bigger chub hide to feed on the things that are falling from the waterfall but if something was there they were very very shy because nothing hit my lures even though I tried everything from small plastics to crankbaits nothing was really interested on the what I had to offer even drifting crankbaits really really far on the on the river down the river nothing was taking my bait but you can now watch my past self wrapping up the video I really like the Artemis it's very very smooth I've been fishing with it I've done some brackish water fishing with it I've done um, tweet shot fishing with it I fished a little bit for sunfish bass so chub pretty well rounded reel this will come to play in the winter, so keep tuned for an update on this real peeling drag, hopefully. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!